I am. I just, just it's not a joke. It's not. <laughs> Crazy things happen. N Best selling feminist author, Cappy. We we're ranked number one for new releases and number five for uh, on Amazon for uh, books in feminist theory. We won't know if the feminists agree with it because none of the feminists are going to review it. I tried to make reaching out to different ladies and to no avail. So we'll just we'll just do that, I guess. I'll be the I'll be the black sheep of the squadron. Uh, anyway, for you impatient bastards who were too lazy to listen through the announcement video the first time around, that yes, it would come out in the week. <clears throat> yes, it will be in audio as well. Maybe by tomorrow it'll be available in hardcover as well, but the menu, Life Without the Opposite Sex, is now available in Kindle. Uh, just so you all know, this was one of the fastest turnarounds of a book I've ever done. Uh, not in terms of the writing, but in terms of uploading it, the image and the video and all that other stuff. Editing as well. So if there are some serious problems with it, let me know. Do not report to me the, your versus your, their versus their. It's versus it. I, you are that type of person. Uh, I'm sorry. You, these books are too smart for you because you're not obviously not interested in ideas. You're interested in grammar. We do not do grammar. We do ideas and thought. Life is too short. It's there. You're, you're. Um, <clears throat> but if there's like some, you know, the wrong word or a paragraph missing because I accidentally hit the delete button, uh, that's it. Yes. Thank you, Stan the Milkman. I am. I am incredibly efficient. And that's no joke. Like I looked at like how quick I had turnaround, how long it would take you to, do you know how long it takes you to pay someone like these Amazon experts? They know how to set together Kindle paperback while you do the cover and all that. You know what the turnaround is on that? Like at least a hundred times longer than me. At least. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yeah. So it's on Kindle. You guys could get it now. Um, it's selling great. Thank you for all for purchasing it. I've, I got two really good, sweet uh, uh, female friends. It's just nice girls. And they bought it. And one's happily married. And the other one I've known for, gosh, 15 years. I said to both of them, like, why are you guys getting this? One, you're married, happily married. Two, you said you're never getting married. Why? You, maybe maybe my other friend needs some kind of point and purpose. I thought she had an idea. <clears throat> got a great kid. Smart girl. Straight A's. Kid listens to me. She's not going to major. She's going to major. She was going to major in economics. I said, no, mm -mm, nope. And then she, no, oh, okay, well, I won't. I'm like engineering, computer science, medicine. She got brain on her too. I said, especially with that brain of yours, you're not going to be wasting your time in economics. That's uh, <clears throat> that's for, it, it is, it's sad, but uh, econ majors have, I think the second highest or third highest IQ. So generally they are brilliant people, but they waste it on just a joke of a study. And it's not a real study. It's, there's there's no veracity to economics, none. There's some rules and laws, but like the, when you get to the, once you get past it, look, all you need is an associate. I'll, I'll say it again. You only need an associate in, in economics. And as long as you're taught like at the Austrian school or like not Keynesian or like just some basic stuff, like street economics, you'll be free. You could just read Larry Hazlitt or Thomas Sowell and you'll know more about economics practically. I mean, I don't mean practically in that sense, but in the literal definition of practically your knowledge of economics will be more practical than most people getting their doctorates. It's true because they're all skewed. <clears throat> um, so yeah, you guys could buy it. Hatton clocks, two bucks. I'm Cappy's number one weeb. Hi Cap. Hey, how you doing? Hatton clocks. So you didn't like that. Um, that hike. I love that Sabino Canyon hike. All right. That's it. Um, tomorrow, last day in Vegas. Then Cappy going to fly back home and work. Here's here's why I get to go. Let me show you how fun. <clears throat> There's no perfect place. Do you know why I got to go back early, like in April? Why would you go back in, to South Dakota in April, Cappy? Well, because it's cold and, and st somewhat still snowing. Well, I thought your goal was to avoid it. Yes, but if you have to put in <clears throat> yard work, which you have to do a couple retaining walls and some minor stuff outside, you want to get there before it's tick season because I don't like Lyme disease. And, man, they got lots of ticks in South Dakota. Lots of old ticks. Lots of ticks. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so I got to get out there and I got to be careful not to be hiking by myself again, because the lions are coming out. The mountain lions come out and they're hungry. Unlike the other one that I saw, he was not hungry. Thank God. Um, but there you go. All right. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.